Dylan-esque points out that uh, um, they're getting notification about videos, quote, three days too late, another notification three days too late, for which I can only say I'm, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, there is a problem. There is a fundamental problem with YouTube as part of Google. It holds a significant position of power, um, very much like a monopoly in the digital space, especially in terms of video content distribution and advertising. And the dominance presents challenges for users and content creators alike, particularly when attempting to resolve issues uh, relating to tardy information, delisting account suspensions, and using integrated services like um, Shopify. I've spent the last 10 weeks trying to um, get some merchandise to display on YouTube. And, and and it's it's it is genuinely defeating me, and I don't understand why. Uh, I I think the information about going uh, about following this process is complex, and it it's very difficult to find a a, a site or the information all in one place. So you've got a link. Shopify, Printify, Merchant Center, and YouTube all in the same account. But they all ask different questions. And and certainly I wasn't aware that, that all of these have to be linked. I, I, I thought it was Shopify, Printify, and YouTube. So the Merchant Center, which, which is actually the first point of call, was not something I initially did, which caused a problem. Uh, and, and it's just mindless. It is mindless bureaucracy, and you ask for help, and you really don't get it. Uh, what you get is an attempt to promote other services, like a thing called Google Ads, which which is an opportunity for them to take money for putting adverts on other on other sites, which I I, I personally don't particularly want to do. Um, YouTube's monopoly is criticized for its unilateral decision-making processes. A lot of this has been handed on to AI. Google has got rid of a lot of its employees, which means there's even less people to interface, there's even less people to be able to um, make decisions and understand what the problem is. And a lot of that, even the people you speak to, are in call centers and therefore have even less knowledge about what the issues are. Uh, so so if, if somebody is facing delisting or demonetizing, it's very difficult to, to get a response. Now, for instance, a, a video critical of YouTube or its parent company, Google, can be demonetized or delisted with limited options for the creator con to contest the decision effectively. And users have reported that when errors occur in delisting or demonetizing, getting direct assistance is challenging due to the lack of transparency and responsiveness from uh, YouTube itself, from the YouTube support. Uh, I, I spoke to a person in YouTube support called Sophia a few weeks ago now, and she seemed very encouraging. I went through all the issues, and then I got uh, a series of emails back saying, uh, that I that I need to get support from Mer from the Merchant Center support, and, and 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 effectively wiping her hands of it. So I'm still I'm still no better off. Uh, and she didn't say what the problem was. Um. So I I sim I simply don't know, um, and it's very difficult to pull back from this system because. I've already started paying one of these companies, I think. So, um, so, so if I start another, another site, then I think I'm then expected to pay more money. It's just madness, madness, and without advice. And uh, and, and these um, professional organisations which gather round YouTube, are offering management services and so on, are again 
all hitching a ride and they are exploitative. Um, I mean, this may be a problem with management in general. It may be a problem with the the, so the agent's management um, format. And I, I must say, having not really experienced this in any great de detail before I was on Channel 4's program, The Circle, the last five years has been a nightmare. And the pressure that can be put by production companies on management and agencies to sort of not not take on somebody or to or to um, or, or to push you into another niche is is the stuff that makes you tear your hair out and um i I, I think there has to be a more organized approach. Uh, next week, I'm doing a panel at the Leeds International Festival of Ideas or something. I, I'm doing it with a fellow called Rylan, the fellow with the teeth, and um, and some other people. I, I think the psychiatrist who uh, works on um, Big Brother. Uh, so that will be interesting because I, my, my concern about about psychiatry as a solution to all of the um, YouTube, uh, to all of the problems with reality TV, is that they act as both a support system and as a gatekeeper, not unlike the union equity. And there are problems with that approach. It, it's effectively, it, it encourages a closed shop mentality, but it also encourages quite a um, uh, quite a form of uh, it's quite arrogant and it encourages a form of bullying which I think is unacceptable in the present age uh, and, and these things need to be questioned and YouTube is in much the same position uh, and, um, and many merchants using Shopify have faced account suspensions or disapprovals on Google Merchant Center because of, quote, misrepresentation errors. And these suspensions can be triggered by minor inconsistencies between the information on the website or the YouTube and the product data in the Merchant Center. For example, businesses have been reported, um, have reported being suspended because of missing business details in the footer, incorrect URLs or misleading promotions, uh, often unintentionally. And in one case, there's a fellow called Emmanuel Flossy, who advised another Shopify user that their Google Merchant Center suspension was likely because of a lack of business details in their website footer and misaligned product information, which resulted in the suspension or in, 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 in the stamp of misrepresentation. Another user faced suspension for being for using an incorrect business name format, which didn't match the URL of the Shopify store. Um, I mean, actually, if you want to find the URL for your YouTube channel, that itself is a nightmare of searching around. These things are not, these things are sort of hidden within the system. And they could be so evident, they could be so clear, but, but they aren't. They really are, it, it's very hard to find these things. By changing the name in the Merchant Center to match the URL exactly, the issue might be resolved. I, I would certainly be very happy to make some videos about how to link Shopify and Merchant Center and so on if I could work out how to do it, because the videos which exist are appalling. Uh, merchants often struggle to promote their products effectively because of these policy violations and misleading or unrealistic promotions, such as advertising discounts that are not available, can result in account suspension. Well, that's obvious. Um, a promotion offering 50% uh, off all products but only applying to a limited selection would, of course, lead to a suspension under Google's misrepresentation policy. Um, but you, but in, in a decision about misrepresentation, Google or YouTube or whatever, Shopify, whatever the organization is, should be indicating what the problem is, not just simply slapping misrepresentation on it. 
When issues arise, users have reported, and it's certainly my experience, that getting help from YouTube or Google is difficult or, if, or, or, or impossible. The person you speak to doesn't really know what's going on, no matter how charming and polite they may be. Or they're trying to promote something themselves. And appeals processes are opaque, and users frequently find themselves in a loop of generic responses. And this lack of direct support exacerbates the problem, leaving uh, users, customers, without a clear path to resolution, as evidenced by numerous complaints across forums and YouTube channels dedicated to resolving these issues. Um, the, the, it illustrates how YouTube and Google's dominant position in the market has created significant hurdles for content creators and merchants, but also for ordinary people who are simply accessing these services. And, you know, you, one, one of the things you do is you subscribe and you then hope to be, to be given um, uh, a, a, a promotion for video content when it occurs, to get it three, four days later or a week later or, or not at all, it, it, it demonstrates that there's no point in subscribing. And, and that isn't good. The lack of consistency in the YouTube system is something that needs to be addressed by YouTube and something that content creators need to call for. I, I think, for the most part, content creators are terrified of rocking the boat because they've seen what's happened to other con content creators who put out a question about YouTube's um, systems and whether or not they are effective. And I wait to see whether or not this video will be demonetized or taken down. I think that would be a very interesting test. Um, but, uh, but yeah, people, are, people feel powerless in the face of arbitrary enforcement and inadequate support mechanisms. I know exactly what they mean.